how might the euro react to these key areas as we approach the inflation data out of the U.S. on Tuesday and Thursday? We'll talk key levels and also some scenarios for the euro USD as well as the DXY. All right, so starting here with the euro USD daily time frame, we have some inflation data coming out of the U.S. this week in the form of CPI and PPI. So we'll take a look at those on the Forex Factory calendar here in a moment. But first, I want to talk through the trend line that I've mentioned over the past few weeks. So off of that 2022 low, we've got this level down here, all of these lows through this area. You can see where this served as resistance throughout this entire time for the euro. And now we've had the close above it. So as of now, guys, 1.09 is going to be a critical support area for the euro. So what I mentioned over the weekend, if you saw the weekly forecast, is that this low from back here on Friday, what I said is that I expected some you know, early week um, dollar strength, which is what we're seeing here with the euro moving lower and also for this market to take out that Friday low, which we've also seen so far. Okay, so, so far, so good. This is kind of what we expected when you look at something like the DXY, the US dollar index. This is the area that I mentioned in that forecast. So right down here at 102.6. So notice how today's low came in right around that area where you've got this low from back here and all of these highs. So this was always going to be support for the DXY. It still is. And this 103 area, all of these lows back here, this area is going to be resistance. So with tomorrow's inflation data coming up, all right, so let's head over to the Forex factory calendar. And if we take a look here, um, first of all, you're going to notice that this week is relatively light in terms of data. Most of the data is really kind of packed within Tuesday and also Thursday. Okay, and that's in the form of inflation data out of the U.S. So you can see all this CPI data here tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. We've also got all of this PPI data over here as well as retail sales out of the U.S. So very heavy inflation days, um, inflation data days here coming up for the U.S. to where this is going to heavily dictate where the euro USD goes over the coming days. So like I mentioned in recent videos, the theme is still... If we see CPI come in, okay, forecast numbers over here. So this is the forecast number for month over month core, month over month CPI, year over year CPI. So all of these forecast numbers right here that you see tomorrow, if these numbers come in higher than forecast, okay, if they come in higher than forecast, then that is going to be bullish for the DXY. Okay, so that's going to be dollar bullish if these numbers come in higher than forecast. If they come in lower than forecast, then that is going to be bearish for the DXY. So for the euro USD, obviously it's the inverse of that, right? To where if these numbers come in higher than forecast, that's going to be bearish. And if they come in lower than forecast, then that's going to be bullish for the euro. Okay, so when we look at this here and the euro USD coming into this 1.09 area, this down here is going to be support. We've got a horizontal level through here. We've also got that 2022 trend line coming in just below today's low. So what I think that we most likely see is today's low once again getting swept. Okay, I'm not sure that this holds. Um, I don't think that it will, only because if you look at the DXY, the market is sitting well below this 103 area. Okay, so based on this low from back here, the market did test that today. However, if you look at all of these lows up here in this area, ideally, the area to retest is going to be 103. So obviously, if we see the DXY come up here and really pressure this area, going into that inflation data, then we are likely to see the euro make one more low here, right? Take out that Monday low right down here and really pressure this region down here around 109. But again, that data, that CPI data tomorrow is going to be absolutely critical for the euro in terms of whether or not the market can hold above this area that it broke above last week. Okay, so if we see the market come down here, take out today's low, right? That's the ideal scenario take out this low, really pressure 109, see if bulls can step in. If we get bullish price action from down here, then like I've mentioned recently, I do think we are likely to see the euro come up here and retest these highs from back here. Okay, so notice these two equal highs just below 110. This is a psychological level, and it's also where we saw the fake out develop to start the year. Now, we never saw a full retest of this level right up here. Notice these two equal highs fell just short of testing that level. So if we see bullish price action from down here, again, I think we're likely to see the euro sweep today's low going into that inflation data. So if we see bullish price action from this area, then I do think we're looking at a range play here between 109 and potentially 110. Now, if the data tomorrow comes out in support of the DXY, 
In other words, if CPI comes in over forecast, then that is going to be bullish for the DXY. And if we see the euro break below this area down here, okay, a sustained break below this, then that would be bearish for the euro because it would indicate that last week's move was a fake out and exposed areas like this down here around 108. So said differently, looking at the DXY, right, we talk about support and resistance here at 102.6 and 103, right? So if we see CPI come in higher than forecast tomorrow and the DXY can close back above this 103 area somewhere up here, then that would be bullish for the dollar and expose the area between 103.5 to 103.8. Now, one thing that I am going to say is do not be surprised if we do see inflation come in higher than forecast and we see the DXY actually reclaim this area back here at least intraday. And the reason I say that is because the DXY spent a lot of time in this area over the past few months. Okay, this was a critical pivot for the market. And what you're going to notice here is that these two candles Okay, we're seeing a little bit of a retracement of this candle here so far this week, but not a whole lot, which is why I think we see the DXY trade into this area over the next few days. But also notice this candle right here that actually broke down. Okay, we saw no retrace the very next day because the very next day actually gapped down. We saw it close that gap, okay, and then move straight down. So we have seen no retrace into this area or this area up here. And if you'll notice right here on this chart, okay, and you can apply this to any type of trading. Notice how these breakout candles back here. Okay, so notice this big green candle here. Notice this one. Okay, and also this one back here. Look what's similar about every single time. Right here, you had a retrace into this candle. Okay, pretty close to the 50% of that candle. This one back here, you had a retrace of almost this entire breakout candle right here. Now, this one took a long time. However, we did finally see a 50% retrace. And then we got a full retrace, obviously, on this breakdown. So the same rules apply here when you're talking about these breakout candles, which this red candle right here, okay, these two candles are certainly breakout candles. So I do think, you know, again, I think the DXY is likely to trade into this area over the next few days and potentially even this area back here to fill in the candle that broke down below 103.5. All right, so keep that in mind as we head into the inflation data this week. You know, remember Tuesday and Thursday this week, we are likely to see a lot of volatility from the dollar, which means volatility for the euro USD. Now, as we relate what we just looked at in terms of the DXY filling in these two red candles, keep that in mind when you look at the euro USD. Because if we see that from the DXY, even if we see a full retrace of 103 here from the DXY up here into this area, then we are likely to see the euro come down here, sweep today's low right, going into that volatility either tomorrow or Thursday, sweep this area down here and really test the 1.09 area. All right, but really this is a case of, you know, while it's above this area over here, we're looking at a range trade between 1.09 and 1.10. If we were to see a sustained break below this area, then that would be bearish for the euro, exposing lows like this one down here at 1.08. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon for notifications. Don't forget to, guys, claim your 70% off VIP access. See the link in the description of this video. Trade well out there, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.